Winter church was designed by God, especially after the fall, to be cold and even deadly in its effects upon the creation, forcing many into isolation and hunger. But we are not in winter anymore. The thawing process is far into its effects at the world today in God's history of redemption. The flowers are bursting forth. Spring has come because Christ is the firstborn from the dead. As you see demonic ideologies seemingly deep in their roots in our societies, do not cling to angels. Don't cling to politicians. Do not cling to your bank accounts, but cling to Jesus Christ, the resurrected King. Know that Christ is still holding all things together, bringing forth the resurrection of spring as the firstborn from the dead, but now bringing forth an innumerable number after him and bringing forth in all the creation the endless days of the perfect summer. Every flower, every bird, every blade of grass, every person, every fish swimming in the sea, even Leviathan playing in the deep, every star in every solar system, every angel and cherubim and seraphim, all things visible and invisible hold together in Christ, church. Everything holds together in Christ. See human history through Jesus Christ. There is no rogue molecule in this universe. None can escape his will. Even the tragedies of the world, which are real tragedies, which God hates more than any of us, have their redemption sealed in Christ Jesus. See the Son, and as Psalm 2 commands, kiss the Son, adore the Son, worship Him, bow to Him, cherish Him, fear Him, praise Him, proclaim Him, love Him, obey Him, glorify Him, whether you eat or whether you drink, whatever it is you do. The Son is of infinite value. All the created things in the world put together, church, you could take everything, all angels and powers, all nations and beasts of the field, all the stars of heaven, you could put them all together on a scale, and they don't even come close to the value of Jesus Christ. In fact, their value, any value they have is derivative of God's Son. The reason they don't even have value is because they were made by the Son, they hold together in the sun, and they were made for the sun. Things only have value because of Christ. And you could stack the whole created world, invisible and inv invisible, upon a scale, and it would be infinitely outweighed by the value of Christ Jesus. And this is what Hebrews 1 is telling us. And this, my precious church, is where we will conclude because it is here, seeing and hearing of the infinite value of Christ Jesus where I want to leave your hearts and minds this week as you prepare for Good Friday. If you see the infinite value of Christ, if you see him as he is, oh, how mournful, how wretched and frightful, unfathomable the thought of Good Friday is. So prepare your hearts for Good Friday by meditating on the all-surpassing supremacy of Christ Jesus.